Uh, yeah, I, I'm feeling really good. Um, obviously, given the circumstances, it's a bit tough to tell on ice wise. Uh, I have a pair of skates at home that I haven't yet put on, uh, but I have been training very hard. Um, I've got a pretty sweet setup at home. I'm pretty fortunate. Um, it's where I trained the summers. Uh, everything was kind of in storage. I hadn't really been anticipating an early start like this, but uh, I've been able to to push it pretty hard, um, and it's responding well. I'm feeling better and better every day. I've been running. I've been active. Uh, jumping on it, no issues, no ill effects. So uh, I, I would imagine uh, I'm, I'm very far along, if not completely healthy. Yeah, it. I mean, what a strange situation. You know, I'm. It's, it's nothing new to hear that, but uh, it, it's just something I, I've never thought I'd ever have to think about or, or, or worry about. Um, Tara and I have had this discussion numerous times, kind of trying to digest everything and make sense of it. And it's nothing in your kind of wildest imagination you'd imagine happening. And, you know, luckily I'm in a field and a profession where it's a lot of, you know, young, healthy men uh, who are kind of in, in peak physical condition. And, and, you know, it seems like that's not the most at risk group, but again, there's, you know, more and more, kind of news and information out there that the young people are being sick. So I think at the time I wasn't, you know, as concerned knowing that these guys are, are, are in great shape and, 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 and very healthy, but it's still alarming for sure. Uh, you know, this, this situation, this, this virus, it's also new and there's not a lot known about it. And, you know, when it's people you care about like family uh, and they get sick with anything, you're going to be concerned. So uh, thankfully it seems like everyone's on the mend or if not healthy. Uh, fully already so I uh, think uh, thank God for that you know I think I think trying to step back and and have some perspective uh, has sort of helped me mature and and definitely view things a little bit differently but um, you know it has been a, a very eventful season for me uh, good and bad and you know I think it's taught me a little bit of patience um, I think it's taught me belief in myself and I think it's taught you know, me, the importance of, of, of family and becoming a father um, has really changed my priorities and perspectives. Um, you know, my decisions in life and, and how I handle myself and what I do and what I say, you know, they don't just directly affect me now um, or, or me and Tara, you know, we have, we have miles to care for and, and everything we do in life and how we try to live our lives. It's, it's helping Miles going forward and, and setting a good good example for Miles going forward. Um, and, you know, we've really enjoyed that. Um, and we feel very fulfilled and very thankful. It's a great question. Um, you know, and I think the message has to be consistent and clear. And, you know, we all have to make sacrifices here. Um, you know, it's our civic responsibility and civic duty uh, to make sure we're looking out, especially for, you know, the most – vulnerable members of our community, the people who are immunosuppressed, you know, the elderly people who are very susceptible to this virus. And, and, and it, it is more likely than not going to be life threatening for them. And, um, you know, we all have to make a sacrifice here. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, you know, for a lot of us, we're very fortunate and it's not a hard sacrifice. It's, we stay inside, um, and we're responsible and we're empathetic and compassionate and, and understand that there's people out there, who are depending on us being safe and responsible and self-isolating. So let's all band here together. Let's suck it up for a bit. Uh, let's do what's best for this community uh, and make sure we're taking care of our own.